Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, I'm still driving the struggle bus, so beep beep get on! Don't know if I can say that word in the first 30 seconds of the video actually, I'm unsure about YouTube's new policy, no. Hello beautifuls, welcome back to another episode of Asmo Teen to Beauty Queen. One of the most deranged shows we've ever seen here on the Chanel My Lovelies. Today is episode 3, and you already know what this show is. I'm calling the police. Tearaway teens from Manchester, UK are put in some sort of pageant competition in which they travel to America and then compete for Miss Teen International in Chicago, because that's a great idea for a TV show, isn't it? Yes. Akin to something a bit like poverty porn, Benefit Street, those sorts of things, a wealthy lady comes in and tries to coach these young girls who all have problem social behaviour, shall we say. That's the media's words, not mine. Into becoming effortless, gorgeous bijou beauty queens worthy of an international stage and title. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? I mean, what else can I say, my lovely? So far in this season, we have seen some pretty heinous language towards some of the girls, and there's just no, like, give from production. There's just no give. They've really gone into these girls' lives and expected them to fully commit to this quite alien concept to them, and then sort of be taken aside and, like, made an example of on television. The prophecy is true because perhaps they're not immediately following to like what production wants them to do to get good TV. Are we surprised? Oh, beat, no. Little Mr. Biscuits is currently sleeping next to me, my lovelies. He's on his little pillow, he's fast asleep. We actually went to the Cotswolds yesterday and had a big adventurous day out. So I am just gonna let him sleep, but he might want to jump on my lap later in the show. I don't know, yeah, he usually does at some point. So my lovelies, are you ready for a top comment on the last episode? Because I think I might be. And that would be by Sam Bethel 286 and they say the fact that Nasha was tired all the time should have been a reason for someone on the show to check if there was something more going on. I know it's something that teachers keep an eye out for and ideally follow up on. I hate the way they treated her. Tired and lazy are not the same thing. Oh my goodness me, my loves. Oh my goodness me, could not agree more, could not agree more. Do you know, when I was in high school, the amount of times my teachers would be like, oh, she's great, but she doesn't apply herself. Oh, she's really average. <laughs> How dare you? And do you know what now? I have a first class biochemistry degree that I achieved at the age of 29. Maybe not everyone flourishes in high school and maybe not everyone flourishes as a teenager. Is that really so bad? Perhaps there are other things going on behind the scenes that are undiagnosed as to why someone might be behaving in certain ways. ADHD and transsexual. Uh. If you haven't seen the last episode, my lovelies, I do recommend it. It's in the same playlist that this current video you are watching is in. One would hope. Anyway, I think the next stop on the struggle bus, my lovelies, should be bedtime because I am diseased. <laughs> so, my lovelies, are you ready to strap in? with me and watch another episode of Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen. Grab yourself a beverage. I need the caffeine. I mean, I need the energy. I mean, but that's no different to what usually happens here on the Chanel. Grab your little Ochanger, which is in fact a headphone. Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. Because it should technically be Kopfhörer. However, AirPods are a brand name and it should just be AirPod. You didn't need that explanation, but it doesn't matter. Eh. Either way, pop your little Ochanger right into your little Asbo hole. And let's watch. Oh, thank God. I have a, an empty bottle next to my foot and it started making noise and I was like, oh God, what's this rattling through the floorboards of my apartment? Welcome to the Novimpia Chanel. A scary woman. Right, here we go. Oh, there she is, Rachel. Laura goes, Pavia. Da, 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 da. This is very like crime scene investigation. Oh, maybe that's the vibe. Maybe that's the... That's the vibe. Are we gonna meet Ashley this week? Did we meet Ashley last time? Kerry and Sarah. Oh no, Sarah has gone, hasn't she? Eleanor? 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 Have we met Eleanor yet? I think we might have. Dare away, Dates, Beauty Queen. Alright, here we are. Where are we? 
In America, every year, thousands of young women compete to win coveted beauty pageant crowns. Pageant. The most prestigious pageant of all is the Miss Teen International Contest held in Chicago, Illinois. Pageant. It promotes feminine virtue and high moral values. What is feminine virtue? What is that? Transvestite of the bride. What is feminine virtue? What is that? In my mind, it's like, slay your enemies. That's a feminine virtue. But I think in this context, it's like, is she pure? Oh. Like, I'm not into that. As a beauty queen, you are As a, a woman. to other children. Sorry. If you're out, you are a role model to other children. Okay. If you're out there drinking, smoking, or swearing, and a little girl's looking at you with you've got your sash and crown, you're gonna go, oh, does that mean I can do that? Yes. Yes, it does, children. And that's the end of the episode. I do find it funny that she's kind of saying they're like, when you are a beauty queen, it's like, yes, but you have like self-appointed yourself into this role. No? Am I missing the vibe there? They're like, ah, oh, don't set a bad example. It's like, yes, but you have pursued this yourself, right? Oh, she's got her You're crown and a dream. And get to you. Yeah. The first ever English contender will be plucked from England's Asbo capital. Here we go. Some of these girls she's are the menace of Manchester. And Only one of these girls has an Asbo, by the way. So the entire concept of this show is based around like sort of fibbing, really. Life hasn't been about pageant preparation. Pageants. When I was younger, I used to be like a heavy drinker. I was oh about dear. 15 when I started smoking weed. Oh dear. Finding a diamond amongst these ruffians is the job of a woman who knows the winning formula. A diamond among the ruffians. Okay. I must actually say there does seem to be a an early drinking culture in Britain that is a bit of a problem. I feel like a lot of Europe that I've been to, which is mostly France, Germany and Spain, let's be honest. What is this sissy music? At least the areas that I've been to doesn't have quite the same like binge drinking teenage culture that we have in the UK. At least when I was a teenager, like I was kind of drinking since about 14 years old. I'm actually completely sober now over a year and a half. It is a bit of a problem, but also I fully understand that at that age, if someone said to me, Laxaria, don't drink so much WKD blue that you're face down on the beach at the beach party, go. I've done it now, I'm too bleeding late. What are they gonna do? Gonna shoot me? I doubt it. I would have been like, you know, I'm gonna do whatever I want. So how do you even begin to get rid of that vibe? How do you even begin to address that? I don't know. I wouldn't say it's on a beauty pageant. This week, Michelle has brought oh, the girls to London. Oh dear, not London. Don't bother. Oh, there they are. So when I first saw these buildings, these buildings are in, I think they're in Vauxhall? Or they're, they're south of the river, south of the river. And I actually thought they were books. And then someone explained to me that they're actually the shape of planes, like the wings and the planes. Like if you can see here, like this is the shape of like one of those oldie worldy like biplanes. Bisexual. Oh, wow. scandalous. Just a little bit of London history for you there. Yeah, that. One roof for seven days as they're oh. put through an intensive beauty queen boot camp. Boot. Yeah, yeah, My boot. Yeah. And at the end of the week, they'll be tested on their grace and poise on the catwalk. But Michelle will also be scrutinising their... So, I don't know if my American audience know this, but... The concept of a runway in the UK is often referred to as a catwalk. And I don't know if I like that. I think I prefer the word runway. It feels like it fits better, like she's a runway model. She's a catwalk model. I feel like there's like a, gl a glottal stop happening in there. There isn't, because that would be like... Kumquat. No. Would that be a glottal stop? I just don't know anymore. Parents often think about this problem when naming their children, like they can't have like... Christina Kebelgikekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekek
This is very dated. ...of teenagers, and she I needs to behave well. Your eyes are Dear. I don't Harassing the construction men. Oh, how the tables of tables. I understand why this is an important task. Hi, girls! So London life will be strict, just like the pageant where girls live under the watchful eyes of the judges. Rule this, breaking. Is this be... like a hotel meets? Is this an apartment hotel, or are they just maybe they're just rented an apartment? I guess for them that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Tolerated as last week's Golden Girl Pavia is about to find out. All oh, right, here we go, Pavia. Hi, girls. This is Michelle. Welcome to your London apartment, where you will be living for this week's Beauty Queen training. Not quite the same as a Tyra male, is it? Not quite the same. There are some house rules which you should abide by. Failure to abide by these house rules may result in you being asked to leave. No alcohol allowed. No smoking in the apartment. No assaulting each other. <laughs> no drugs allowed. No girls are allowed on any unaccompanied journeys or trips. Tomorrow, tomorrow's morning at 8 a.m. sharp, you need to be up and dressed, ready for this week's training. Interesting. Interesting there. Interesting. I've actually just seen Pavia do something there, which indicates to me something maybe akin to being left behind by the educational system a little bit. Assuming that Pavia is 17, because we have one girl here, Rachel, who we haven't actually seen yet, is the only girl that's 18 and above. Everybody else is under 18. So if we are to believe that if she's allowed to be on TV, she has to be like 16 and above. So she could be 16 years old or 17 years old, which technically means that she would have finished high school, achieved GCSEs, potentially be in college if she was going to take that route. She was reading a note there using her finger to guide herself through the words. This to me is something that was maybe taught pre-high school. I'm going to say here that that is like a coping mechanism to read that we don't often see when it comes to like college or university level education, shall we say. And I don't in any way think it's Pavia's fault. I think that perhaps something has happened there where she's been left behind and hasn't been able to develop her reading skills at a rate that one would expect for her age. There could be multiple different reasons for this, all of which will not be addressed on this show, which again plays into the concept of ASBO full stop, like an antisocial behavior order, like perfectly fine people don't need antisocial behavior orders, whether that's through socioeconomic problems, family problems, access to education problems. I don't really know where I'm trying to go with this point, but something there has kind of showed me that perhaps she needs a little bit more guidance than she was actually, than she actually had access to. Does that make sense? What is happening? <laughs> I've been yes. Morning, Aww. tomorrow. They had a bit of a fight. I'm in this competition to win it. Everybody wants to win it. I'm not gonna work extra hard. A side ponytail. Try a bit of it. I want to hazard a guess and say that this was around the same sort of time that I started coming to London because I think these girls are about the same sort of age as me, maybe a little bit younger. Although, hang on, let me try and do some maths here. You're perfect, some you're beautiful, them. you look like Linda and Ben. I think most of these girls would be around about my age, maybe one to two years older. But by next morning, good okay. intentions are already forgotten. Oh dear, In she's egging people out the window. New preoccupation, picking on Ellen. She got, she got discharged out of the schizo unit. That was off. Well, she's, right, she's proper strange. Oh, yeah, maybe you should stop to make Stop being told why. Last night, Ellen told a ghost story that's turned the girls against her. That's a <laughs> mental case story, not a scary uh, story. Pissing me off that they go around telling everyone I'm schizophrenic, you know what I mean? Ellen is a weird. She's like, it's told you, telling us a story about these girls. There's oh three girls in a room in London doing the modeling. And one of the girls turns schizophrenic and killed them all, right? She was like, oh God, what? You said. This is a bit, this is a classic case of like ostracizing someone and bullying them, which usually comes from a form of insecurity, but that is inexcusable. You're going to be living together. I also still think that Ellen looks very much like a model. So how poignant that Ellen told a ghost story with models. How funny. But we can really see here that Pavia has kind of 
what's the word? From like her body language and the way that she's behaving, she's kind of tried to solidify herself as like a leader of the pack, as like an alpha woman, so to speak. And if we remember from last week, we actually saw Laura say to Pavia, don't pick on the other girl. So there's almost like a little bit of a clash of personalities here because I feel like Pavia very much is used to having to be a very big personality in order to feel secure and almost in a position of safety, I think. Wig T. To tell them a scary story, I told them what it related to what they were doing to scare them. In fact, they shouldn't be shouting things off the bark and that mosquito so I mean it's not it's not nice. No, I agree. That is not arriving at eight o'clock sharp is their mentor Michelle. Harvey's she's already been given a free pass as well, hasn't she? And I don't want to say it's because she's blonde, but I think it might be because she's blonde. About to set this week's challenge. Right, the challenge. Oh, hey girls. <laughs> How are all my little angels doing? You slept dead. Okay. Well, what do you guys think of your apartment? Amen. Welcome to London, right? Oh you my gosh, are... actually, that's a very good point. We haven't actually seen them all live together yet, have we? So they've been, they must have been living in their own accommodation, like own homes or whatever in Manchester and like coming into the studio to film, well, into the community center, it looks like they hired. Although a few people in the comments of the last video have actually said that they recognized the hotel that this was all filmed in due to the staircase, so. All? earned it because you worked so hard last week you did a really good job and you made me really proud the styling but guess it? what what new challenge that's right now when you go to america you're going to be surrounded by beauty queens who are going to be acting on their best behavior all the time so this week's challenge is to behave like a beauty queen okay so what this means is no drinking no smoking whinging or no spitting. I've seen more than a couple of you spitting. And just in general, follow the rules. Do as you're told. Which all this equates is, to behaving this like This has gotten a bit brat camp. This isn't going very like how to defeat your smoking addiction. This has gone like, don't do it, punishment. And this goes back to that famous phrase that I'm always spouting here on the Chanel, that is you can't shout at flowers to make them grow. You have to give them nutrients. You have to give them time. You have to give them space. You can't just yell at them and take things away until they grow. That's not how, that's not how growth works. So at the end of the week, we're gonna review your behavior. And as per usual, one of you will be crowned this week's teen beauty queen. And, and one, one of you will be, be thrown in the bin. All right. A la belle. The girl's challenge this week is in two. Is this a beauty hack I'm seeing? Heat up your eyelash curler with a hairdryer. Mmm, I mean, you could do that. I've never been a huge fan of heated eyelash curlers and my brain today is severely not between my ears. So I don't know if my educational hat's even gonna be able to sit on today. Do you guys use heated eyelash curlers? If so, why do you like them? What do you like about them? Two parts. Firstly, they must learn to behave with kindness, grace, and dignity. So the guy who does this narration, I always feel like he's talking like this, like kindness and dignity. It's actually this guy here. Hi, ah, you're watching me, Terry Christian, on the mank, doing venues. Learn to behave with kindness, grace, and dignity 24 hours a day. This was before the invention of the iPad. There will be a catwalk show where they must exhibit a their poison department in front of the judges. We will it's show gonna you the be really difficult it. for a couple of them. Really difficult. And you know what I'll be watching a lot this week is just in general how they treat each other. It might be a truer test of who they truly are. And it so. might. I just want to say also that some of the girls here have kind of picked on Ellen a little bit and suggested that she might be schizophrenic for sharing a ghost story. I categorically do not agree with bullying in the slightest. And I'm also gonna add on to that and say, I met a brilliant friend of mine at university and she had DID and she had a history of being bullied for having DID. And she was absolutely phenomenal at science and she will go so far in her career. And you know, sometimes the reason why people pick on other people is because their insecurities see someone who is better and they go, I need to destroy that. And that is disgusting and we do not appreciate that. No, we don't. I'm not giving excuses, but that sometimes is the reason why people behave the way they do. They get suddenly this fear of being inferior and have to act out and lash out in order to not feel 
inferior, rather than doing the self-work and the self-assessment to understand exactly why they're feeling that way. But also, teenagers can sometimes just be quite horrible as well. Like, loads of things are happening in a teenage body. And loads of things are also happening to a teenage body that make you behave in ways that are quite unstable. Be the most telling challenge to date. Okay, this will be the most telling woman on the go. In London, seven beauty pageant pupils have been living Cute together kids. for one day. They've been challenged by their mentor, Michelle Fryatt, to behave Fashion. with poise and dignity, both off the catwalk and on it. Right. All these short sleeves. We've got gout. The mark is based on a girl's poise and presentation on the runway. Poise, yes. Teen Virginia, Jordan Woods. Teen California. Oh, no, I'm not enough poise, no. Miss Teen Utah. Oh, dear, too much poise, dead. For the Miss Teen England wannabes, walking and deportment training can't stop. Deportment? What's deportment? I have to Google that immediately. I feel like deportment's a bit Suella. Deportment. The way a person stands and walks, particularly as an element of etiquette. Oh, that's nice. Training can't start soon enough. Right, OK. Oh, another community centre. I didn't center. hear swearing as you girls walked in the room, did I? Probably, yes. It's visually shoes. devastating when you see these girls walk around. They shuffle their feet, they slump their shoulders. If we were to put that... It's visually devastating. That is quite a loaded sentence, isn't it? And instead of getting to the root cause, she's going to be like, why don't you put on this ugly shoe? Why don't you try on that lovely wig? They slump their shoulders. If we were to put that on this stage in Chicago, it would be over before it ever started. Yes. I have with me today Walking Michelle Paradise. Oh, she is a model. Look, Ellen, Ellen the model. Now, Michelle has got 20 years of catwalk experience. Ooh. And now Probably. she spends most of her time training models, so she is well oh, so equipped she is the to Miss J. Alexander transform of you guys team. into girls who can walk with confidence, right? right. Okay, I'll let you Don't just take it away. So I know. Excited, ladies. They okay. look very enthusiastic. What's the matter? Well, let's get ourselves in a good state before we start. Right. Okay. A state. So bring yourselves over here in a group, right about there with your happy faces on. I don't care what you're feeling inside. I don't want to see it right now. Ooh. Well, the girls walked in today just she business. <laughs> in really a really bad frame of mind. And I really respected the way Michelle took control of the group. And boy, she got, she got the ducks in a row very quickly. Did we ask why? Did we find out why any of these girls are in such a bad mood? Did we find out why they don't want to be here? Did we find out why or what their concerns might be? No, none of that. Just get your ducks in a row, girl. The swan. Only one will make it to the pageant, girls. She got the ducks in a row very quickly. OK, let me see the happy faces. I'm serious. I want to see teeth, right? Teeth. Is that what you call a smile? Is that what you call no, a wig? I'm serious. This is not brain surgery, girls. I just Neither want you to smiling. smile. The key thing they have to remember for the test day is to smile. Smile, 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 smile. Smile whilst you dial. Even if you fell down the steps and you kept smiling, you know, um, the audience would still be cheering you along. Isn't that such a funny concept here in the world that, like, even if the whole world is crumbling, just smile. Fake. Be fake. That's how the world likes you. Exhausting, isn't it exhausting? Teenage boys would never, they would never. Remind me of your name again? Harry. Smile. Are you saying? Pavia, smile and stop talking. Stop talking and smile. Come on. Girl, stop talking and smile. I don't care what mood you're in. And in the pageant, they don't care what mood you're in. You still smile. I have never been around a group of people, old, young, male, female, and those Sick, of us who are healthy, transcended. That complains as much as these girls do. It's insane. It's and if British. That was only... I'm sorry, but that's also cultural difference. British people just complain. It could be the best day of their life and they go, mm, it's not bad. Because we are British. That's just the way British people are. Of course they're going to complain. Of course, if there's nothing to whinge about, it means you've got life too good. And what's really bad in British culture? Having anything too good. A category in this pageant, we would win it hands down. 
I think someone should come and moisten your eyes. Leave your attitude outside the door because it has no place in here. Okay. It really doesn't. I've got an attitude with you there, and I've got an attitude with you then. I tell you, I've got an attitude with you, so why are you going on? Because you're not cooperating with me. We are cooperating oh dear, with Ellen you. thinks it's the funniest wig okay, she's ever no, seen. Be that you like us That's right, and I said I have a limited amount of time. I'm not going to argue with you. you okay, yes, let's don't go. Engage. Pavia, I want you first. Now, two things you got to remember arms down by the side. Perfect, excellent. Oh. This is very, um, BHS Tammy Girl maternity wear outfit. I don't like it. In fact, actually, all of the fashion is quite questionable, isn't it? Look at all these three quarter cut off lengths, but they've been pulled up to the knee, up to the knee. So 2000s. And look, a say something belt. Look straight ahead, find a mark, focus on that. Right, okay? what's the mark? While you're doing that, I want you to smile. It's and I want you to just gently move your arms. Okay, gently, Shame. not swinging. Shante. This is all meant to be very ladylike and very poised. That's it. Beautiful. I mean, oh. she looks like a different person already, doesn't she? You see, it's just some simple little things. This is where I find it so amusing that some people don't clock what's happening around them. Pavia there wasn't doing it to be like, I'm part of, I'm gonna show you how it's really done. Yes, I'm really feeling this. She was doing it to take the piss. And this woman is like, bravo, marvelous. We've never seen such a wig like that. I'm not saying she's not aware of her surroundings, but she's not being very aware of her surroundings, is there? I remember when, I actually told this story the other day, I was learning German in high school and there was this guy in my class, I'm gonna call him Pete. Let's call him Pete. Don't bother. And my German teacher was this lovely Welsh lady who was a bit like, uh, a bit ditzy, a bit ditzy. And Pete would often take the piss out of her to her face without her realizing this. And I always used to feel so cringe about this because he would speak in German in that really sort of like XXX adult content German accent that we have all heard at some point. And I'm sure you know the one, it's very like, over the top and like almost orgasmic. And I remember he said some German sentence, something like, oh yes, I brought my book to lessons today, let's just say. And he said it in the most piss take, loudest German fake orgasm voice. And she just went, oh, hurrah, huzzah. Oh, you are so good. Yes, we're giving you an A. And I was just like, how can you not be aware? How can you not be aware this person is taking the piss out of you in front of you? It's not even a person, it's usually a 14 year old child. I don't know, same vibe there. How can you, like, I'm hyper aware. As soon as someone's tone changes in front of me, I'm like, blocked. You see, it's just some simple little there things. There you go, see her face change. That make you look elegant and poised and confident. Confidence <laughs> is a game, girls. On the game. What, what, hey, 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 stop. You forgot something. The you fashion, the low rise skirt. That's it, you got it again. Okay, you've got a dead right arm. Your left arm has movement, your right arm hardly moves. Right Do you see it? Beautiful. You're doing fantastically well. She looks so oh, much like my first girlfriend, it frightens me. I'm like, no, no, no. Ah, oh, but stop looking down. The floor is not moving. But there might be stairs. You are. This is the trusty Pilates posture stick. This is the perfect Pilates way to improve your posture. It's side by side, side by side. It's heel toe, heel toe, with purpose. With the porpoise. Is she going to what beat happened to the smile? Oh, dang. Oh. Smile. Imagine trying to get teenage boys to do any of all this. Look at what she's doing. Imagine. The smile, the focus straight ahead. Any of you bored yet? Yes. Who is bored? Me. Oh, honey, well, we're just gonna keep on walking then. <laughs> this has got to be your new natural posture. This is a classic tea stand. It slims the body down, so you, you stand like this. Graduating from flip-flops to fine frocks, the girls are making progress on... I forget this is about conformity, isn't it? This is not about being special. This is about how much conformity can you do that we will give you a prize for that level of conformity, isn't it? I think I'm having a bit of a sickly realization here in the studio today that I don't actually like the pageant culture. <laughs> They're walking. Bean juice. But not their peacemaking oh. as Alan continues to feel bullied by Pavia. Well, it's someone should step in and say, stop bullying. 
I'm about to, I'm about to keep my temper all day as well with a smile on my face. That stressed me out because I've been like that. All the girls are mainly getting along great, apart from we have a schizo in the group. She said that five, five out of ten doctors say that she's mentally insane and that she's got three machetes in her bag and that if when, as soon as I go to sleep, she's still going to die. I'm upset, I'm annoyed, I'm not happy, the smile's fake, I feel like plastic. There. If any of those things are potentially true, then I don't think a pageant is in any way, shape or form the correct way to deal and perhaps provide some management techniques for this situation. Do you? No. How much posture and poise is going to disarm three machetes? None. Pavia's cruel comments about Ellen may be unfair, but how balanced are the rest of the girls? All oh, right, now, so we're just skipping over that. We're not, we're not going to pull Pavia aside and go, can we not do that, actually? You need to learn to work with people in the team. Now, this oh, there's is Rachel. A we haven't seen Rachel yet, have we? Walking and deportment technique, where we right. put a book on our head. Oh, yes. Book, 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 oh, book my face, God, Facebook. that old chestnut. Yes. Everybody got one? What if you have a skull that doesn't back, allow back this? Back in the line, please. What then? Hmm? Oh. Uh, Do it with style. Smile. Smile. See how it slows you down? Fine. Okay, ignore them. I like this dress that, that Ellen is wearing. I really like this. It's very flattering. Fashion icon. Fine. I wonder what happened to her after the show. If I can see this much progress in a day, if they just retain what they've learned, there is hope. Okay, right, so the challenge is... They may be is... hitting the target in the classroom, but... What is the challenge this week? I swear it was just like, be nice, be nice to each other, be nice. Ellen's oh, no, there's a catwalk, isn't there, of course. They may be hitting the target in the classroom, but Ellen's late night ghost story means she's still in the firing line outside. So why were you going on like that last night? Because I, I see that shit very serious. Listen, look at me when I'm speaking to you, yeah? I don't want to be in the same room as one girl chatting shit like that. Because if I was there, yeah, you couldn't have been going on like that because I would have said, Joe, oh, shut your mouth. Oh, she wasn't there, so she's not sharing a room. But, like, interesting. The only context we have here is that Ellen has shared a ghost story that the other girls don't like. I was a goth in high school, and I remember I tried to make a joke with one of the popular girls. It was in art class, and she asked me what day it was. And I said, oh, it's Thursday, and it will be Thursday all day. As, like, a soft, off-comment joke. And she somehow thought that meant that I'd said we'd had art class all day. And then, like, had a big problem with me because she thought that I was telling her that we had art class all day and she was going to miss the other one of her lessons. And then she got, like, these other two girls involved and made me out to be, like, a huge problem whilst I was just trying to be friendly and say, oh, you know, it's Thursday all day, it'll be all day. And I always remember this as, like, I hate seeing anyone be bullied and ganged up on from something that they've said. A ghost story is not real. She has shared a single, like, fun thing late at night. I'm sure some of the other girls shared some rather, like, funny, odd little things. But what we're seeing here is bullying, and I really, really, really don't like it. Really don't like it. I don't know why production hasn't stepped in. I don't know why no safeguarding conversations or safeguarding management has been put in here in the slightest. You get me? I don't want to hear it. You get me? Brass. You're under the age of 18. Yeah, how do you be in strange ways? Well, yeah, but if you'd noticed, they were telling scary stories to each other, and that's me to tell them one. I told one. I made my own up. That's how I've got the name as a psycho. <laughs> Have we just seen that there? Everyone was telling ghost stories, but as soon as Ellen tells one, it's a problem. What are you doing? That's lie, man. Because when Ellen will come in and went, I used to get so you went, yeah, I've knocked up the tablets. Started doing some schizo laugh. Yeah. It's not like I'm seven, yeah, sitting there talking about little horror stories. It's not like that. I'm just, I'm not stupid. You got, you got... The reality is she was chatting shit for Yeah. She explained it as if I'm a sick, sick, twisted little girl, yeah? That's what she's explained it as. She don't think of anybody else's feelings, but her own. Ooh. 
no what one a horrible said situation. nothing to her. She's a drama queen, mate. She ain't made for this shit. She can't handle this shit. Go home. I think some of the girls really want to win this competition, but they are certainly not evidencing that through the behavior they've had this week. They are not being gracious. They aren't being polite and kind and, and respectful. Yes, this is the point of like, okay, if someone in your competition has lied about who they are or lied about like their backstory, then you just don't engage with them. You don't go out of your way to be like, ah, blah, 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 blah. awful unfriendly behavior, no. So I just don't think they're connecting the dots between this part still of like, being a beauty but queen. But the pageant, the beauty queen. The I'm like, there is someone literally being bullied in a house, and you're like, the pageant! Like, irrelevant, sis. Back at the flat, the girls continue to alienate Ellen. Yeah, right. I've been bullied since I was 11 years old. If Pavi could turn around and say what she wants about anyone and make them feel as low as she's made me feel low, then they should have really all turned on her, not me. Ongoing bullying breaks one of Michelle's house rules, but some girls appear to be breaking several others. Oh dear. Give them then, get us into trouble. Imagine, okay, weed is illegal in this country. Imagine happily doing all that on TV. I can smell weed. It's what? I can smell weed. <laughs> Hi, girl. I told you last week. I'm so disappointed in you this week. I told you to abide by them rules and tell the girls to abide by them rules. No, naughty. Stop being naughty. Ashley, Kerry, Rachel and Ellen didn't smoke last night, but with test day looming, the group have racked up a long list of other misdemeanours. Misdemeanors. They've smoked, they've shouted, they've bullied, they've bitched. So far, nearly every rule in Michelle's book has been broken. All right, so they're all going home. Failing miserably in the behaviour stakes, they still have to take to the catwalk at the end of the week. You would never see this now. You'd never get like reality TV like a uh, cast and just put them on a train. Never. So Michelle has brought them to England's top pageant dressmaker, oh, right, Elaine White, to Elaine help them at least look the part. Elaine White. Hello. Okay, girls. Tomorrow we're going to bring the whole week together and have your challenge of being on a runway doing evening gown competition for the pageant. The pageant. So in order for you guys to look your very best, my friend Elaine is going is to help us with our. Is that a little biscuit boy? Oh, hello. Have you just woken up? Oh, did you like your sleep? Oh, yes. Oh, little biscuit boy. The star of the show has arrived. Little biscuit. Yeah, you can sit on my lap for a bit. My friend Elaine is going to help us with our gown selection and make sure you get just the right fit. Okay. Everybody excited? Yes. yes. Yay. Nice. Pageant. Ball blue. Yeah. As long as that doesn't come up too high. Be a the great satin color. does cling. I don't great. know about that bit though. Good. Start with that one and we'll go from Ooh, there. electric pink. Take. Okay. Have got anything in sparkly black, Elaine? Maybe I should contact <laughs> Elaine. Twelve. Elaine White Pageants. I'm gonna Google her. Maybe I can get her to make me an outfit or two. Well, I can't seem to find any information on Elaine, so perhaps not. She's dead to you now. You're not supposed to be able to breathe. That's the whole objective. Suck it in. Suck it in, ah. girls. Slimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Do either one of you like this dress? That's it's a nice quite shape. Beautiful. Lovely pastel. A pastoise. No, don't do that for me up there at all. Okay, well, if you don't like it, let's take it off. Keep going. I'm <laughs> glad, <laughs> actually, here that there is some level of like, do you like this? About the girls to their dresses, there's not like, oh, we're gonna put you in that, good luck, bye. They're actually saying like, do you like this? Do you like the color of this? Do you like this? Like we never see that in any of these makeover shows ever. It's always just like, this is what we think you should look like rather than, oh, would you like to have some input into your final look? We never see that. So that's quite surprising. I love this dress on her, love it. Oh, it's giving like 1950s, like, Synchronized swimming TV variety show performance. <laughs> I'm actually loving that. I think it's lovely. No, I, I think that it's dynamite. That is lovely. I love a haunted neck. What does that mean? That means fabulous. Oh. I like it. 
Should we do it, Ashley? Yeah, Let's do it. So far, five out of the six that we've fitted have been have been easy to to do. Okay. Well, but. we struggled with Pavia. She didn't seem to be happy with with any of the options that we put on her. She keeps vacillating between these these personalities. I think there's a good Pavia and an evil Pavia. <laughs> and sometimes I think she can't decide which one to be. See, I. I don't know that I don't prefer that one. Mm. I don't like that one. Okay, what about the other blue one? I'm not bothered anyway, put me in what you want. You know, today's fittings went surprisingly well, and it mm. really gave me a glimpse, just another no. glimpse of the potential these girls have. It's really exciting. Only for last night's bad behavior, oh, the girls da. have a new house da, guest. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. A new house guest. actual evidence of wrongdoing, the girl's bad behaviour last night can't factor Who's in this? the elimination. But security officer Julie security Thomas has officer. been drafted in to ensure the girl's welfare, health and safety. They've done her a bit dirty here. They could have just, like, introduced her nicely instead of being like, why don't you walk down the beachfront? Beachfront? Right, is she They're meant to be like the meanie? Me. They're not going to get under my skin. Yeah. It's, not, it's not worth it at the end of the day. Words are just words. <laughs> Hi. Hi, babe. Hi. I'm Julie. I'm here to look after you lot, I I'm think. I'm Kara. Nice to meet you. Nice babe. to meet you. I'd say the first 24 hours is going to be the hardest. And then when they realise I'm not going to buy it, I think we get on quite well. So she's their, like, Hello. prison Hello. officer? Can you explain to us in detail what you're actually... OK, I'm actually glad that they've brought someone in because we're going to be able to get, hopefully, a non-biased opinion of what's happening in this environment because is my vibe that Ellen is being bullied is correct because if that is true then we need some like firm guidelines as to why that's not acceptable. Yeah, because we've not actually been told. I'm a licensed security officer and I'm basically here to check that your health and safety and your well-being is, is being met at all times. Okay. And it can go both ways. I can Good. either be your mother or I can be your nightmare. I did hear that there was an incident here involving yeah. drugs. And before I can go any further, I need to ask you, have you got any drugs on you? No. Right, that's fine? No. 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 Have you got any form of drugs no. on you? Right, because this is the time to hand it over. If OK, so we know that there's lying in this group. So now are we more likely to believe Ellen or the girls bullying Ellen? If you have any, if you've got any. I could take drugs. OK, that's fine. I don't, I have no reason not to believe you. OK, and if you are found with any alcohol or drugs, it's the end of the road. You will be sent home, OK? Oh, I'm just sure do get sent off. Well, I might have the trouble with Laura. She seems, um more tense than the others. I'll keep an open mind for the moment. It's still too soon to have any judgment. But 16-year-old Laura didn't get an asbo by kowtowing to authority, and soon she and Kerry have run off without permission. Oh, dear. Going... Not to meet boys. I know they've got to, like, look after us and everything, but treating us like 12-year-olds, come on, it's not... It's worse than being, do you know, like... I, I ain't even got to be in it this time, not time at all. <laughs> Take her out down there, still. No one's saying you can't go out. Saying you can't go out on a company. <laughs> an hour later, an 18-year-old Rachel has tracked down the fugitives and persuaded them to come back. OK, good. Babe, can I ask you to go into the front room, please? No, because I'm not sitting there getting in there. You're going to miss me, Not be asked with any of this on Well, you're going to hear it regardless, so we do it here. Biscuit, I do love you, but your fluff is getting completely up my nostrils today. Sometimes my lips, sometimes it's stuck on my teeth. Well, you're gonna hear it regardless, so we do it here with you on your own. Right. You're not gonna uh, gonna keep acting and going out there. No, who this said we went off site? Do you know for a fact we went off site, don't no? you? weren't around so you could be found. Getting right? babysat every minute of the day. Babe, being realistic, yeah, if something did happen to you and we had to identify you, yeah, how in the how do you go back and tell your parents, I'm so sorry? Do you understand where I'm coming yeah, from? I do, but right. So can we start again then, yeah? It's it's gonna be a nightmare. But um this can't happen again. It's very strong, Calm. isn't it? Leave me alone! Calm down. No, I'm Calm not moving. Calm down. Oh dear. Oh dear, that wasn't good, was it, girls? No. In just three weeks' time, the prestigious Miss Teen International pageant in America will have its first... Again, I do not feel like 
putting these girls to like get ready for a pageant is in any way arming them with like correct management skills to help with these outbursts for lack of a better word these like big emotions these big like things like clearly something else needs to be done pageant no no no. Girls, come on. They're here. Behave like a woman. Oh, wait. Security officer Julie Thomas was brought in when the girls started breaking the house rules. Right. And Can today some of this Ellen? bad behaviour may come back to haunt them when Michelle decides who to eliminate. I think it's normal. I was thinking all night last night. Uh, the consequences of your actions. I was arguing at the beginning of the week, so I think that's got something to do with it. Look how cold they are outside. Let's not. Oh, I'm excited about Today that I feel really nervous. No smoking, no day. None of us behaved with proper behaviour. Where's so the, where's the glam squad? Be, um, a bad, a, a, a mixed decision. I could be one of the people that go, I'd be gutted because that just showed that I just that would have just showed that I let myself down. That's true. So there is some semblance of the girls actually wanting to partake and actually better themselves. But I think it's one of those things again of like, old habits die hard. How hard is it to break like a habit or like a behavioral pattern that you do to yourself that you know is bad? How hard is it to break that? To break that cycle? It's very hard. It requires a lot of like effort, self-reflection and discipline. And I don't know if I had any of that at like 16, 17 years old. <laughs> Do not excuse bullying, though. <gasps> Airbrushed. Yeah, if, if I go, yeah, and certain people in this group go, go, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind because at the end of the day, I know for the fact I've not been the worst behaved by far. Truthfully, in my heart, I think Laura, if you're going behaviour-wise, will be the one that will be eliminated. Is that a 60s She's look? The hardest one to try and control. Quite an instigator she can be. I'm scared because I've kicked off a few times. I think I've won all today. Cry if I'm all. I would be devastated. Elimination in the your girls' test eye. will take place at a location in central London where Michelle is waiting for them. Right. This week has been extraordinary. I just realised my eyeliner is quite crazy today. It literally went so over the top. Oops. I mean, this is really hard really? because they've all, they've all let me down. Okay. Well, it's almost like perhaps they Despite need more than their pageant training. Despite failure, mm. each girl will have a chance to make her case on the catwalk by explaining oh, why catwalk. she should be Miss Teen England International. Right, OK. Well, hello, my beauty queens. Hiya. Hiya. How Hiya. is everyone? Okay. Hello. You guys ready for the day? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is everybody enthusiastic? No. Yeah, I need to put my dress on. <clears throat> cool. Well, I know it's been a long week, but I know you guys are going to do great today, and I'm, I'm looking sorry. forward to seeing you all looking like beauty queens, speaking Look. like beauty queens, and behaving oh, like Oh, a striking pink lip, so of the time. I used to do the same thing. It almost looks like show orchid, girl about town, perhaps pink nouveau even by Mac. Although pink nouveau is a little bit grayer. Mm. Beauty queens. All right. Oh, good luck, you guys. Okay. Po -po 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 biscuit. Helping Michelle with the thorny decision of which girl oh, to dear, eliminate is. is ex runway model and behavioural therapist Judy James oh. and catwalk trainer Michelle Paradise. Interesting. Ex runway model and catwalk trainer. These are one and the same thing. Interesting, isn't it, Biscuit? Yeah, it's quite interesting. I'm expecting a lot from them because I gave them homework to do, and that was working with the posture so stick, working with the book on their head, sure. and smiling, and smiling, and smiling, and smiling. I told them the only time they're off is when they go to sleep. I'll be very disappointed if I don't get it. I feel like a princess. I feel like a beauty queen. Nervous. Proper nervous shakes. Oh, shake. volume. Very nervous. Ready to hit the catwalk, looking beautiful on the outside, the teens are about to find out who Michelle thinks is ugly Strong on the inside. Blush. Oh, who thinks is ugly on the inside? Oh. Hi, girls. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You guys look amazing. Completely Tonight deranged. <laughs> not only on your onstage presentations, but also on how you've behaved throughout the week. Ah, this makeup is so 
aging. Oh, the makeup industry is so different now, isn't it? Week, Laura, you deliberately broke a house rule by going out into the night and leaving the apartment unaccompanied. What would you like for me to know about that night? Well, it was, I had an argument in the house and then, cause I'm not used to all this. It was just, I just wanted to get away from it. Just wanted to get away from everyone. So I just went out. Carrie, I believe that you left the apartment unaccompanied by chaperone as well. I wasn't leaving Laura on her own. I didn't, cause she didn't know the place and everything else. But again, I broke the house real. Okay. What can I say? About. What did she say? Yeah. Oh dear, is she leaving? <laughs> Lots of emotions here today. I just don't want you to cheat yourself. If you if you step away from this now, or if you fall apart, you're gonna short really short change yourself. Oh no. There's no such thing as waterproof makeup back then. The dream mat moose was not dreaming or moosing. No shoes. Right. Let's get you Laura's been persuaded back onto the catwalk, so it's time oh, no, for the rest of the girls to have their behaviour oh. put under the spotlight. Right, okay. There's something else that's been going on this week. Oh, dear. Ever since we got in London, one of you has been isolated and I really don't know how else to describe it besides bullying. Uh -huh. This is about personal growth. This is about learning lessons. It's about looking at behavior that possibly you're not proud of and deciding what behavior you choose. And I want to show you what I'm talking about. Gagged, yes, that is what you look like. Talking to someone like that. I am actually, sorry to interrupt there, but I'm actually so flabbergasted that they have shown them their behavior. But actually that's a great tactic to be like, look how you look when you speak like that and you behave this way. Look what you look like, look at yourself and see how you are behaving. What a come to Satan moment, my loves, my goodness. Wow, cinematic. Cinema could never. Okay. How does it make you feel? So obviously I wasn't there when this went on. It did look like there was some ganging up going on. Yes, it did. So, so what's the it tea? is about behavior. We'll see you in a little bit. <gasps> oh. Think about what you've done. Leave the room and think about what you've done. Oh, biscuit. We all have to carry on and try our best. Michelle's show and shock tactics have hit home with most. I know that this competition isn't fair. Last week's winner, Pavia, thinks Ellen and her scary stories are to blame, and she isn't going down without a fight. I'm, I'm down here, no and you know what? I'm fair game. I'm here to hear wh whatever you have to say. Are you to the whole doors? point okay. was to learn from our own mistakes and to learn from, and, and I'm not saying that there weren't some, you know, quirky circumstances going on, but I don't know how you can, can well, not, not say. We're not saying that fair enough, that incident happened. And why is other people not pinpointed that like we just have been, because that now, us four, yeah? Us four were looking like we had a problem with our behavior this week. Do you, why do you think I addressed Laura and Carrie on their rule breaking before we even showed the clip? Yeah, maybe that. That's Because you are all on the same playing field. And them, them two judges are looking at us four girls now as if we're bullies. That's how they are, how they are, are they not looking at like that? That's how they're seeing it. Because that is how you behaved. Okay, so how can we resolve this and salvage the rest of the day, Pavia? See, now it's targeted back at me. I actually think I'm doing this when there was three other girls. I'm really sorry that this has been so upsetting. I really am. Because. So if I go anyway, do you know what? It's not my loss. How about it's not my loss? Pavia. 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 
Mm. This does come across slightly as I've been caught and I don't like having to face the consequences of my actions instead of actually having a moment of self-reflection. However, these are all very young people and when have you ever heard of young people ever having foresight? Like, what's that phrase? Youth is wasted on the young. I'm still not excusing bullying. I'm gonna go and talk to her. Okay. Teleportation. <sighs> you know, I don't want these girls to go away from this experience and be emotionally scarred or so bitter that they can't grow from the experience. But again, we are a little bit here of like putting a lot of time and effort into the people who were perpetrating bullying. We haven't heard Ellen what she has to say and how she feels about the situation. Who was the victim here? We've kind of been like, oh, now the storyline is on the bullies. And it's like, that's not the point, no? It's just really my hope that they're able to take the lessons that they're learning and really digest them and really make good choices for the rest of their lives. Soon the girls will face the judges to showcase their runway skills and they'll have one runway. last opportunity to plead their case. I would like to miss tea in England because I would... Now more than ever, Michelle's protégés need to remember that slouching's out and smiles are in. Right. What's going to happen next, girls? Oh, here she is. On the go. Nice dress. Oh! Hi. I recognise this venue. I know exactly where this venue is. This is an old venue in London called Café de Paris, which no longer exists. However, I've spent many an evening hosting and being naughty and having the best clubbing experiences in my life. I threw a drink on a man in this place when his girlfriend tried to like take a photo of all of us together and he tried to make a motion as if he was gonna like put his head between my legs and sort of out me in this photo. And I threw my drink over him. And this girl took my side and was like, you stupid idiot, why did you think that was acceptable? So, mm. lots of stories in Café de Paris. Ah, oh, Biscuit, my leg is dead. I have to put you on the floor. Ah, oh, Café de Paris. Gone, but not forgotten. Hi, my name is Rachel, Hello. and I would love to be Miss, Eng Miss Teen England because I have never had a chance to be a positive role model. I would use this opportunity to help young teenagers. Oh, no, that's OK. Oh, no. You were doing great. Oh, no. Oh, dear. The There's show must go on, and the show back. will Great, always go wrong. Come back. Come back. You know what? Ask for me. Okay. Ask for no, but you know what? You. you were doing a great job. Yeah, oh, just dear. start again. If you make a mistake, just carry on. Hi, my name is Rachel. And I would love to be Miss Teen England because I have never had a chance to be a positive role model. I would use this opportunity to help young children in getting involved with gangs, to help them with education and help them stay out of gangs. Great. Great. Well Wonderful. Well done. Thanks I mean, you must have only done this, what, job. like twice, Thank maybe? You. I need you to did really something. She needs some eyelash glue. Hello, Laura. She's got a swagger about her still, hasn't she? Hi, I'm Laura. I would like to be Miss Teen England because it will give me the opportunity to raise my to raise awareness for my cause, which is oh no, which, <laughs> which is teen education for anger management. And the reason I walked off is because my cause is something I've experienced myself, and. The, re the way I learned to deal with things was to walk away if I was getting upset. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Oh, okay. I'm very, very nervous. <sighs> Gosh, almost barely recognisable. Is that Ashley? That's Ashley, isn't it? Yes, Ashley? I don't like that. Too the curls are far too tight. Hi, my name's Ashley. I would like to be Miss Teen England because I would like to ensure that more people know about my cars. Also, it's a life changing opportunity and something to be very proud of. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Oh, goodness, volume. I believe that I can make a difference to children in Greater Manchester that have got special needs using music therapy. Maybe I can help them make that difference. Thank you. Good job. Agree. Thank yes, you, Alan. Very good. 
Have we heard anything about Ellen's story? Like why, why this week, why? Hi, my name's Pavia. Oh, can I start again? Sure. Just when you go, take good. your spot, you're and then when you're ready, just start from the beginning. Oh, if that's no. what you'd like to do. It's it fine. Oh, it dear. Left yeah, ahead. Just, just stand there until you're ready. When you're ready, just start from the beginning. It's fine. He is nerve Hi, my name's Pavia. I would like to be Miss Teen England to help. I can't do it because my head's messed up. Okay, you well, you know what? It. Here's what we'll do. Why don't you go ahead and, and go back and just collect your thoughts and we'll come back to you, okay? You can do it, honey. That's a good option. When you come back, you'll be perfect. Yeah. Just do my best now and then. Smile, shoulders up. Just drop my stuff. <laughs> Though you also partook in the bullying. I like that colour. Very royal colour. Hi, my name is Eleanor. If I became Miss Teen England and became rich and famous, I would be able to provide for the people less fortunate. And became rich and Good. famous? Thank you, Eleanor. I don't think I'm one, one oh, pageant I'm makes you rich and famous, does it? Because I was upset and everything, so I think I've got used to it. Another nice colour. And what do you have to say in Kafir Perry? Hi, my name's Kara. I'm, I would like to be Miss Seen Be Miss Sorry, Miss Seen England. Um for to help the unfortunate around the world. I would like to help them get back on their feet and help let them have a normal and enjoyful life. Oh Thank dear, you. nervous. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Carrie. No. I am glad that she hasn't, like, torn into this. Pavia, don't know if she's going to do it again or not. Mm -hmm. Should we we operating these lights? Ah, oh, a disco! Right, here she is. She collected her thoughts. Hi. I find it, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt here. I find it very difficult now to rally around behind Pavia after seeing her bully, Ellen. I just, my interest has dropped and I know that's how reality TV like gets its hooks into you but again I'm just like I I unless we have like a redemption moment where she makes it up to Ellen I just don't see how we can be like oh poor Pavia like I just don't my name's Pavia if I was blessed with the opportunity to represent my country in a pageant it'd be a great chance to meet new people new religions and new cultures thank you thank you good job Yes. Is, is, are any other religions competing in like American pageants except perhaps Christians? I feel like it's very intertwined. No. The girls have struggled through the task, but now it's decision time for Michelle and her co-judges. Who's gonna go? Her smile does not feel genuine to me. No, no, you're absolutely right. I thought she was very brave, and that for me would be the plus point. I feel there's a lot of sincerity there. Absolutely. It was just so moving. I Who's gonna go? Nice. I I but do think learn. Laura's I think done an awful thing, but I also think so. there will Pavia. have to come a time that she just has been accepts authority. Very nice. And she really struggles with that. She launches herself like a ship, doesn't she? She comes <laughs> through those curtains. It's a little bit of a loose, a loose cannon. Mm. If something were to get her upset, I am very fearful for how she might handle it. Well, I really appreciate your time. I really think I know. Gosh, who's gonna go, girls? Going home. Things went the way they was, right? And it was based on what happened. Then I shouldn't be in the danger zone. I'm just gonna be even getting more worked up now, thinking oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stay. But no. Well, I'll go home, but if I go home, I'll go home in What's the wig? Seven wannabe beauty tea? queens are fighting What's the tea for the wig? chance to enter. Wig tea. Michelle is about to announce right. who she's decided right. to eliminate. Right. Come on, girls. All the music. Done well. Hi, girls. Well, as you know, this week's challenge has been about behaving like a beauty queen. Right. The purpose in showing you the clip was in hopes that you would recognize your own bad behavior. Right. And that in the future, you just might consider a different way to handle a similar situation. Right. That is... Ashley. Okay. You handled yourself beautifully on the stage. 
You safe. delivered your speech without flaws. You're I safe. do think that you might have what it takes. I do think that you might possibly, potentially, perhaps one day, even a little bit, do all that. I want to congratulate you for your courage. You showed a lot of determination and a lot of bravery for hanging in there this week in spite of some really difficult circumstances. And you looked great. But who caused those difficult circumstances? That Thank you. Congratulations. I guess if half the cast had caused all these problems, they couldn't exactly just eliminate half the cast and be like, well, we don't have a TV show now because we've only got three people left. Everyone will make it to the pageant girls. Laura, you have got to learn to obey the rules. Okay. <gasps> oh. Carrie, you struggled a little bit at the beginning of some of the challenges and you made a lot of progress. Yeah, you can't. You might really, like... have what it takes Congratulations. Yes, Thank you. although quite like subtle and soft spoken, I don't think she did anything like wrong. Who Hoomst! Don't. Is she saving you Kavir to laugh? You have the natural blessing of charisma. When Buckets you charisma. flash that smile, you have people eating out of the palm of your hand. Still don't accept that about yourself. Congratulations. Well done. I do like that dress. Right, here we go. Okay, these are these the naughty girls? Naughty. Elena, you have got the greatest personality. You've got so much fire and such a spark. Except when you bully. And it really worked well for you this week. However, you need to really work on being more natural and being yourself. Think you might have what it takes. Okay. Oh, Pavia's going. Yeah, they can't, ha you can't have a bully in this. Is Pavia gonna go? Pavia. You are a beautiful girl. I know I'm going home. I know you're bright. That's disgraceful sending me home. I know you're articulate. Lara, congratulations. <gasps> Thank you. Let me just tell you one little thing, yeah? I've, I've got opportunities, yeah? But I know, yeah, no offence, I know I am better than half of them stood there. You're disgraceful and you did it, yeah? It was based on this week's behaviour and she had the, she had the worst behaviour, not me. Behavior. That's where it was, eh? Yeah, yeah, it was. It so was about the behaviour. Yes, you're so f***ing too much. Oh, do you think I'm Laura, don't engage. Laura, I do not care. Pavia, you know what? I know for the fact this week I've not been the worst behaved day. I know we haven't. I, I know, and you know in yourself, true, though, I have not been the worst behaved day. Not From true. what I have seen, you need to learn to be gracious and respectful and to harness this wonderful spirit that you have and focus it in the right direction. Because going off like this, Pavia? What? It's, what? It's, you know what? I can't, I really, I can't take it in yet. I can't. What? Oh my gosh, I have to, I have to give the, the response of laughing. Because at the end of the day, I see it as this. One door closes, 14 will open. Because you know what? It's right. not my loss. Not my loss at all. Okay. You know, if I didn't have the argument before when that was on, I would not be going home today. It was because of the argument, right? And you, you, Pavia, that argument really left me no choice. You backed me into a corner with the way that you behaved. No, yeah. you did. You're not, see, this is it. You're not taking responsibility yeah, for your own not, behavior. Why should I take You are responsibility taking responsibility for your own bad behavior. Your bad behavior is your choice, your decision. I will go places, me. I'll go far, and You know me. what? Far. We wish you nothing but the best. Yeah, I she's would not love saying you to see you succeed. Okay, Pavia, thank you very much. I'm sorry that you'll be leaving us this week. Whatever. In my heart, I knew that Pavia should be the one to go because I've just seen too many examples of her being disrespectful and that is not appropriate. Oh, I can breathe. My goodness me. What electric television was that, my lovelies? I bet 14 million people tuned in to watch that moment. And I bet you a lot of people, including myself, probably would have felt, oh my God, she's getting her comeuppance. But there's a lot of very telling things that Pavia said during that monologue there. Obviously, she's very fiery. She's got a lot to say. The fact that she immediately responded with, I'm gonna go far. 
I'm gonna get extra opportunities. It's not the end of the road for me. I, 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 me, me, me. Makes me feel like she's had situations in her life where someone has said, you are never going far. You are not getting any opportunities and you are a bad person. Because this model lady here that I've immediately forgot, what's her name, Michelle? She didn't say like, you've done all these bad things. It's your fault. She didn't say any of that. She simply, she actually said it in a very positive way of saying, you have a spirit and you have a light and you have to learn how to harness this in a positive way. There was no engagement. There was no negative reinforcement. There was no insults. She literally just said, you have to take accountability for how you've behaved rather than saying like, you are a problem, you, you, you. What a telling argument that was. I'm, I'm, I have so much more to say about that, but my goodness, let's watch the end. Goodness me. We all just went through a really, a little bit of a tough experience. Yes. And you guys made me proud with how you handled it. But you other know, this people week did been also about behavior, And I really wasn't sure until today what I was going to do about giving someone the beauty queen of the week. But oh. Ashley, you have consistently been gracious and you've consistently treated people around you with appreciation and kindness. And she for had that, something to say I about Ellen though, didn't she, earlier in the week. episode? Mm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, well done, Ashley. A crown and a wig. Congratulations, you earned it. Oh, I don't into think the street. That I have any energy left to feel anything. <laughs> I'm completely physically and emotionally exhausted. Well, welcome today. to dealing with austerity measures and really the repercussions that they have in society. In the coming weeks, welcome. it's up to Michelle to groom the girls for pageant Don't success. In three weeks' the time, limousine. one of them will become the first the Miss Teen Center. England International. Right! But which one? Nope, stop! Goodness me, my lovelies, have I got some thoughts. Well, my lovelies, what an explosive episode that was. I feel like all of the meat and juicy bits happened right at the very end of this episode, where I've already made kind of like my core thoughts known. We did see Pavia engage in bullying tactics, and my initial thought kind of was correct, really, when I saw Ellen feeling sad and feeling bullied and seeing other people rally around Pavia to basically attack and bully this poor girl who was cast aside from doing just exactly the same as what everyone else was doing, sharing ghost stories. And literally that's all it is, sharing a ghost story. I do find the method that this show used to kind of reflect the girl's behavior back to them to be quite effective, actually. I'm really surprised about that because I didn't see it coming. I just thought it was gonna be like briefly addressed at judging and then moved forward because that's kind of how these other shows have done it before. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. I'm not even a counselor. I don't really know how that situation should have been dealt with. I do feel like from a viewer's perspective, it was kind of dealt with in a very delicate situation. It was explosive, but no, additional like ammunition was put into that explosion. It was all very like, we're gonna let Pavia have her moment, but we are just gonna firmly say, this is how the situation is. And this is what has caused that situation. I don't feel like they could have really done that in any other way. I'm actually, my respect for Michelle to come in and say these sorts of things and hold that level of command without wavering, but also without giving in or backpedaling very strong. Considering she is a beauty queen from America, there's cultural differences. Like I wouldn't suggest that in any way, shape or form, a beauty queen is somehow like a medical professional, but she handled that situation quite well. And I would love to hear from any like therapy people in the audience, how you felt about watching that situation. I thought it was difficult to watch. And yes, it's also sad, but also it's interesting to see Pavia react in such a way that was like, self-defensive, like all of the, everything that she was saying was coming from a self-preservation, like talking point. When she was saying like, I'm gonna go far, I'm gonna do these things. It didn't sound like that was the first time she's ever experienced confrontation, if you know what I mean. 
Wow. What an episode this was today, my lovelies. Let me know what you think about what we've seen in the comments box below because I'm gag gooped and ready for bed. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my loves. Yes, you can. What a bizarre concept. I just don't think that this show should like really exist in this sort of way. I don't feel like putting these girls on a pageant is going to in any way, shape or form like really help they're like situations. I just don't get that vibe, do you? Today's Instagram shout out goes to Somber Tit. <laughs> Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram. You stunning titty on the go. If you wanna be in with the chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. It is xxluxaria and I post my fashion and travel content over there, my lovelies. Once again, I wanna say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Alex Ewart Official, Orcos Samoji, Ari Adia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Cameron Pittman, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finch Dunham, Hannah Ruth, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paula Rivera, Ryan Loves Rory, Stefutech, Taylor Martin, and Vicky Walsh. And you know what, my lovelies? I think I'm gonna leave it on the note of if you see someone bullying someone else and you're in a position where you can say something, please do. Because you never know how much of a positive force you could have been in that person's life. Very, very, very important. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Gosh.